Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is why doctors on salary is bad. Now this video is in response to a previous video or rather a counterpoint to a video that I did on fee for service as a public health threat where I said, look, physicians being paid fee for service like that is bad for people's health. And as expected, I received a fair amount of hate mail in response to that, specifically from physicians. Now, of course, this being the 21st century, it was not literally in the form of mail, but it was like hate email and hate texts. One person even said it was criminal. Okay, however, listen, I'm open-minded and I wanted to share some of their feedback with you. So this is from physicians, and this is what they say is bad about physicians being on salary. So one, lazy doctors won't work as hard. Okay. Okay, seems reasonable. Number two, the doctors won't stay late to see patients. Again, kind of goes along with number one. It's inconvenient to stay late. They won't do it if they're on salary. Number three, dumping on other doctors. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that a physician, instead of seeing the patient, they'll say, hey, either I want a different specialty to see that patient, or I want a different department to see that patient, or I just needed a physician on a different shift to see that patient. So let me give you an example. It's fairly common that if a patient comes in with some sort of like kidney infection, that typically urology might see them for the placement of urological stents in the OR. However, if it happens at night, they're probably going to have the interventional radiologist do it. And at like 5 p.m., instead of taking them to the OR, they might have the interventional radiologist do that. Likewise, it is very common to quote unquote block beds or to block admissions. Listen, I've been dumped on. I'll be honest with you, I've probably dumped on other physicians. Like, listen, I am not perfect. I am fallible as well. The question is, how much would it happen and would it happen more if physicians were on salary? The doctors that gave me feedback think it would. Okay, next. Limited access to outpatient care, increased wait times. In other words, it's amazing what physicians can do to finagle their schedule or block their schedule. So for example, like cancellations are a wonderful thing when you're on salary. So you have a patient that's scheduled for tomorrow and they canceled. You might just happen to leave that patient in the schedule so that you cannot be, that, that slot cannot be booked with someone else. Therefore, increasing wait times where you could have actually seen someone as a result of that cancellation. I've totally seen that happen. Okay, next up. More cost effect, it's more cost effective to do nothing. So essentially, the problem with fee for service is that it incentivizes doctors to do too much. Well, the counterpoint is, is being on salary, does it incentivize physicians to do too little? Okay, listen, it's a valid argument. Okay, one potential way to reconcile that is with, listen, these dynamics, okay, what, what does this show? This shows that physicians are human. They're not superhuman. These are the exact same issues that companies have to deal with with their employees that are on salary as well. These are not unique problems. Maybe they're not issues of like congestive heart failure or cancer, but the, these issues of staying late and working hard and dumping, I mean, this happens in American workplaces all the time. It also happens in the military. And since I am um, shooting this on Veterans Day, I will tell you that the military has a great way of addressing this, and it is through incredibly stringent performance reviews. If you're going to be advanced to major or colonel or general, I mean, you name it, you go through such a strict performance review process. And there's a fantastic biography on a gentleman in the Air Force by the name of John Boyd um, that I will leave a link to in the show notes. And it actually goes into a fair amount of detail about the performance re review process in the military. It's fascinating. And so I would say, look, there needs to be a rigorous performance review process for physicians, but potentially conducted by other physicians. But the point is, is that by and large today, there really is not much of a performance review process for physicians. And there needs to be. That's my only point for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.